What is it you need to ask, sir? They said it was Judas who betrayed Jesus for the third of Jesus. Uh, come, come close to me, I can't hear you. Man. They said it was Judas by the Gospel of Barnabas who betrayed Jesus for the third of Jesus. Okay, so you are that. When they asked Judas, when the soldiers came and asked Judas, are you Jesus? He said, if you think that I'm Jesus, I'm Jesus. And that, that's the one that they had took because Jesus, he didn't want to go. He was, he was hiding away and he was trying to get away from them. Okay, so we've got a claim from, what is your name? Uh, we've got a claim that according to the Gospel of Barnabas, he states that it was Judah he died instead of Jesus because Jesus didn't want to die. Sir, just a second. Um, can you help me? When, when is the century that Jesus historically lived and died? What century did Jesus live? I'm not sure what century Jesus lived. But... Okay, that's fine. So that was my question. Sir, what century did Jesus live? lived in the first century. Jesus lived in first century. Sir, can you tell me when was the Gospel of Barnabas is written? I can't tell you exactly when the Gospel of Barnabas was written, but according What will happen if I tell you it is written after 14th century? Okay, this is the Christian later on, so I mean, I'm not claiming that that's 100% authentic truth. But I was just giving you know, the description of what Barnabas details and what who is the one who actually hung on the cross and died. So it was Jesus who betrayed Jesus for the thirty pieces of silver. So I hear your claim, but I am shocked that in twenty first century you are making such a claim in a country like America because even people or even kids who are three years old know that Jesus lived and died in first century. And if someone comes in 14th century and then tells you, by the way, it wasn't Jesus, I think everyone would just look with the open eyes and then say, what is happening? Who is this author of the Gospel of Barnabas? I am afraid to tell you, sir, you can lie. The Quran Sense, but it says that it appeared that they killed Jesus, but yet they did not kill Jesus. I ascended him unto myself until a day when he will come back and he will fight the Antichrist, the Dijel. He's going to slay him. That is the war of Armageddon. Okay, so I appreciate that you give us the little bit different version of Surah 4, verse 157. Can you come close to me, sir? Uh, Brother, you just wait there, okay? I, I didn't forget you. I'm going to come back to you. Are you guys able to move into the shade so we can see you? Do you want to move to the shade, sir? So, you are giving me quotation, little bit different version of Surah 4, verse 157. Um, I think I need little bit help for you to tell me actually what the verse says. I read the verse to you, and I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. I'm going to show you a little bit later, okay, brother? So, you are in charge of this mic. Don't take my mic and run away, okay? When I speak, please do not speak. Let's listen one another and then answer my basic questions, okay? Have you studied quantum physics? I can do it. Okay, good, you can do it, let's try. I'm gonna try to understand what Surah 4, verse 157 of the Quran states. And then I can see there are some Muslims. I am sure they will step in and then help us to make sense of it. Would you like to read it for me? You can read it because you got my glasses. Okay. But my accent is like very bad. Okay, I'll go for it. And they are saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah. Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But another was resembled him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. 
They have no knowledge of it except the following the assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. 158. Rada, Allah raised him to himself. And ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. First question. Where is Jesus now? Jesus is in the heavens. He's in the type of heaven. Okay. So I need you to hold the mic a little bit closer to you. Because my left ear doesn't work. He's, okay? He's in the type of heaven. It's a type of Barza. It, it, he would think he was in heaven, actually, but it's, he's in a beautiful place until it's time for him to actually reappear. Because his the Christian mission is not finished. Okay, so you are expressing that today Jesus is alive and in type of heaven. And thank you for confirming for us that Jesus is going to come back. And as Jesus comes back, he is going to come and judge the world justly. So, according to Surah 4, the verse I read it to you, mm -hmm. where is Allah? Allah is on an arch above the seven heavens. It's seven levels of heaven. And, a, and it's a white sea between the seventh heaven and Allah's throne, what the Allah's throne, the arch. And his... His, 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 his throne sets above this white crystal sea and he controls and he does everything accordingly. But this is where he is. His existence, we can't even fathom. Okay, so Allah, Allah is in seventh heaven. He's above, above the seventh heaven. Uh, Allah is the above the seventh heaven. Mm -hmm. According to the verse, uh, it's verse itself, the very word of Allah, according to Islam, states that Jesus is with Allah. Is Jesus above the seventh heaven with Allah? Allah, Allah only knows exactly where Jesus is, but I but know the verse, from the... the very word of Allah already tells us Allah took Jesus to himself. Yes, yes. Okay, so you are telling me, yes, Allah... <laughs> Jesus is with Allah. Yes, okay. Jesus is with Allah. Just I, think I, I, about I it. Whatever Allah is doing, Jesus is with Allah and is alive today. So, according to the verse, who is making people to think that Jesus did die? It was it was a lot going on back then when the Roman Empire and the and According the to the verse the verse I read, who made, who made it, who made it to appear that it was Jesus who died on the cross. It was Allah who made it appear. He says, "I made it appear to him." Okay, it was he, Allah. It was Allah. Okay. He says in the Quran, "You read the verse. I made it appear to them as if they had killed him." In other words, okay. They this okay, way. I got that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for, uh, thank you very much for answering my question. It was. Allah who made it appear it was Jesus while it wasn't Jesus. Sir, what would you say to some, what is the label of someone if they are simply pretending this is a human while this is just a CD? He's a deceiver. He's a deceiver. Would you agree that Allah deceived everyone to think it was Jesus? Yes. Yes. So thank you very much for confirming that Allah is a deceiver. Would you be kind enough and then confirm for us Allah is also the best of the deceivers? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, so since Allah is a deceiver, deceiver by definition with my broken English is liar. Mm -hmm. Allah lied to Mary. Allah lied to the Christians by telling them or showing them Jesus died while Jesus didn't die. Correct? Correct. Why do you worship or follow or why should Muslims worship or follow a God who is identified as a deceiver? Because he's the chief of everything, meaning that nothing is above him. He actually created 
created Shaitan, the devil himself, and he is considered the chief deceiver of all. And he created him, but in the heavens, he was good at one time. But by his sin of trying to convince Adam and doing what he was doing in the heaven, they would cast out Adam, Eve, him, and the snake, because they were all in cahoots with this plot. And so Thank the you very deceiver, much. which is the devil, Allah is above him. He created him. But Thank you very much. Thank you very much for confirming for us. Allah is the deceiver. Not only he is the deceiver, but he is the best of the deceivers. I believe I did not get answer to my very basic question. Why should Muslims follow a God who is identified as a liar, who is identified as a deceiver? How can they trust Allah with their eternity? You have to. There's no power, no might, except by the will of Allah. So if there ain't no power, no might, except by Him, you follow Him. And you, I love, you I love him, the rhythm and you, you are going. your face to Him as a slave. Because one day, we, He is going to judge us, not Jesus. Okay. So while, while I like the rhythm you are following there, I still didn't get answer to the question, why should Muslims follow a God who is a liar, who is a deceiver? I am amazed that you are saying that you will follow Allah as a slave, but I'll give you alternative. God of Bible is identified as Father. God of Bible is identified triune God. Father loves his son in the fellowship of the Spirit. With the death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ, we are all adopted in his family and as a Christian, now we have the privilege of calling our God Abba Father. Would you want to follow a master or would you like to follow a father? So I don't want you to answer that question. Why? Because I can already see a man who is already willing to follow a liar and deceiver will probably choose to follow a master and just be slave to him. So let me ask my question again. Actually, let me make another co comment. Even according to Islam, Jesus is coming back. Yeah. Surah 43, Jesus has the knowledge or he is the sign of the hour. My question was to you, which you failed to answer. Why should Muslims trust Allah with their eternity while Allah is a liar? You told me that. No, I'm saying that, that, that. what I'm saying is that nothing is above. Did you not? Did you not no tell me what? Allah is a liar? No. Did you not tell me Allah no, deceived no, no, people? You said deceiver. The best deceiver. Yeah, so what is the deceiver? Okay, maybe my English is failing. Brother, come and help me. As you can see, my English is like very much broken and crushed. What is it? Would you identify someone as a this someone who identified as not only the deceiver but the best of the deceivers, also kind of another title as a liar? Yes. Well, can I say it in Arabic? I think you know, you know, you know, you know that. So, so, he is the best of deceivers. So, he's saying, he's comparing himself of the best 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 of I'm the best. But I am the best. Allah is very proud to be best of the deceivers. That's shocking to me, actually. So would you like to follow a deceiver? That's our question again. Would you like to follow a deceiver? And trust your, eternity. your life, your eternity, brother. You are going to follow a liar, and then you trust that he will lead you to eternity? Maybe he's deceiving you. Maybe the, Quran, the, Quran, the, the whole of Quran is a deception. Would you accept that? If you follow a deceiver, actually the best of them, how can you trust this God? The, the thing is, the thing is, 
The Shaitan. I oh, want to be like him in the Shaitan of our gym. Talk about Shaitan. I'm talking he's, about he's, Allah, my no, brother. No, no, no. He's, he's, he's considered the chief deceiver. He's called oh, oh, the oh, chief no, no. deceiver. Oh, thank you. Okay, but what I'm saying yes. is, is that we all know that Allah created Satan. He was he blitzed and it happens first, yes. right? Yes. He and then he fell. Right? right? Yes. And he fell. Yes. So what I'm saying is, yes. is that even Satan knows that Allah is above him. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Can Thank you. you but that? you actually confirmed a very important point. You said that Satan is the chief deceiver, right? Yes. Did you say that? And now we're saying Allah is the best deceiver. So who is Allah? According to your equation now. If I say A equals B and then B equals C, what is the result of this equation? A equals C. No. So if you say Allah is the best deceiver and then you say Satan is the chief deceiver, who is Allah now? According to you, not me. Don't quote me now. He is. Satan, according to you. No, I say he's above Satan. He's, he's, a, he's above Satan. So he is actually better than Satan in deceiving people. Yes. Thank you. He's Thank bad. you. He's Dan, he's answer my question again, brother. Yes. No. No, it's hard to fathom. No, no, no. It's a hard bite it to swallow. Very, huh? It is very simple, it's my very brother. Hard to swallow. It's, it's very hard to swallow <laughs> that you follow <laughs> at the best deceiver. It's very hard to say that Allah is the best deceiver and you still want to follow him. It is not laughable matter, even though you yourself is laughing at this, but are you aware the best of the deceivers whom you are following is taking you to hell? No, because he created hell. So he created hell and he's not taking you to hell? trying to make it to heaven, my home. You know, we're not from here. We're from the Garden of Eve on another planet somewhere, okay? We're trying to make it home. This is So I'm trying to make it home where I, I might live forever because I'm an everlasting being because the breath of a love who you're talking about is blew into you. It causes you to breathe when you wake up in the morning. Hey, I just, let me, let me try and put it in a different way for you to help you answer the question for it. Do you have any kids? Yes. What if one of your kids deceived you about something or they lied to you? How would you feel? I would want to know that. I would want to know the explanation. Would, would you be okay? Would you be upset? What would it your emotions depend, be? It, it depending, it depending upon the circumstances of why they did what they did. You told them don't do this certain thing and they, they deliberately did it. How would you feel? I would chastise them. I would chest. I would. I would chastise them because you you want to be loyal to. You want to be, and I'm not in contradiction, in contradiction to anything, but you have to be loyal. Okay. So let me do it this way. You have more than one kid. One of your kids, you told them don't do this certain thing. They said, okay, I won't do it. They go and do it. You confront them about it. They, you ask them, did you do it? You say, no, my, my sibling did it. And then you believe them, and you go and you punish the other sibling, but then you come to find out the other sibling actually did it. Yeah, that, that other sibling will have to share some punishment. And okay. then the sibling that okay. actually got Why? was treated for, for, for the lie, he would be, he would have a sense of, he would get a gift or something okay. to, to, to allow me to redeem myself with him for the mistake. Okay, just rewind a little bit. You said you'd be upset, right? Yeah. I, I, Why? Because you shouldn't deceive. Okay, Thank if you. your own son, your own child yeah. deceives you and upsets you, now the God you worship turns out to be someone who deceives you even better than anyone else. Why wouldn't you be upset with that? No, what I'm saying is it's, like, it's people, it's people that deceive. See, I think he the, the point already. is the point is is you got people that deceive. You got wicked people in this world, in this land. For, for, for and what Allah is saying, can, no matter how good a sorcerer is, he is Allah is over him. He can do witchcraft, he can do magic, he can do it all. Because he's the deceiver, right? But Allah is over him. 
Why, why, are, why are you talking about Satan? Okay. I'm talking about Allah and you're because talking about talking Satan. Because you're talking about deceiving me, man. Yeah, so thank you. Okay, let me let me ask you another question, maybe like using the... Let me ask you this. You're married, right? Or you have a wife or a girlfriend? I'm looking for one. Looking for one. Okay, I have one for you. <laughs> She's very pretty. But she has only one weakness. She's a liar. Will you? You don't want? No. Why not? Can't trust. Uh, you cannot trust. Cannot trust. Why? She's a liar. She's a liar. Why do you trust Allah while Allah is lying? I think he's going to say that. This is above me. That's this, above that's you? Above you. Me. Thank you. This is beyond me. At least me. you're honest. Thank you. Thank you. You're honest. I'm not sure if it's like laughing is that thing right now but are you mad okay let me just it's unpack so that it's so beyond me okay let me just understand I just have to be a slave to no, and no. follow his yeah. command let, yeah let me his, respond to that way and his prophet i just have to follow that as a slave let me respond to that times a day let me respond to that with diligence let me respond to that actually no you do not have to follow allah and you do not have to be slave to allah because there is an alternative Alternative is God of Bible. Alternative is Lord Jesus Christ. I only express to you, Lord Jesus Christ comes with his death and his resurrection. He gives you opportunity to be forgiven sinner. He gives you opportunity to call his father your father. You don't have to be slave. You can wake up. And then get rid of that ideology of Islam. Especially, you can get wake up and then say, I do not want to follow a God who is a liar. I do not want to follow a God who is a deceiver. Jesus Christ is identified as truth. And there is no deceit in him. You express that you wanted to get to heaven. Therefore, you are trying to do things to get to heaven. That brings me to the same point. You will try, you will try, you will try. And you will never make your way to heaven. You will never make your way to heaven. Because you will never be good enough for God who is holy and who is righteous. It's only through the death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ you can get there. Because Jesus comes here and then does everything needed to be done. While you try to do things, do things. Christianity teaches that Jesus done all needs to be done. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing I can do. There is nothing this brother can do to make their way to heaven. Jesus makes that available to humanity. And as I expressed, you don't have to stuck in his dump. There is a choice for you. Today, you can turn back from your sins and turn to Lord Jesus Christ. And his arms are wide open and then he says, come home. His eyes, his arms are wide open and then he says, I love you. I want you to follow me. I want you to respond my love. That option is open even to you because it was open even to me. You don't have to be slave, mister. You really don't have to be slave. You can become friend of God. You can become a son of God. Our Father, which art in heaven, that will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses and those who trespass against us. Give us a not unto temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou art is the kingdom, the glory, forever and ever. That was Jesus praying to God. That Jesus is praying to his Father and then is telling us, this is the way we can pray. And I am afraid to tell you those words, hearing those words from your mouth, while knowing that you want to follow a God who is a liar and deceitful, deceitful is heartbreaking. Because those words has very big meaning in Christian circle and you just use them as for your own comfort. 
the Trump chapter. I don't want you to go to the New Testament. No, I, I want you to tell me. No, no, no. I want you to tell me what is your reason that you give me the Lord's prayer while you reject identity and work of Lord Jesus Christ. Because I, I did so that you could understand that we pray to who Jesus was praying to. No, you're not. No, you're not. He said our father no, is our father. Okay. Do you when when you do your father so you are telling me you are telling me you gave me the Lord's prayer because mm. you wanted to show us that mm. you pray to the one Jesus prayed to. Yes. Did you do your morning prayer this morning? Yes, ma'am. Okay. When you do your morning prayer, did you recite it Surah Fatiha? Did you recite the Surah Fatiha? Yes, yes. Yes. Where did you, where did you in Surah Fatiha identify God as your father? You don't. You don't. Okay. As a Christian, I call God my father. Who do you call God? Father. Father. Jesus calls his heavenly father, father because Jesus is the eternal son of his father. You told me you pray to the one Jesus prayed to. And now you are telling me you do not call God your father. Why did you lie to me? Is that because Allah tells you to lie? Because Allah is a liar? No, that's because he is the master of the day of judgment. That's why Sir, you told me, you told me that you pray the one Jesus pray to. The one Jesus pray to is identified as Father. Did you call God your Father this morning? Okay. Did you call your God your Father when you did noon prayer? No. So you don't pray to the one Jesus pray to. And you lie to me. It was the, it's a different word, the Bible. Jesus. Why did you tell me the Lord's Prayer? Why did you tell me you pray to the one Jesus prayed to? Yes. Because no, no, uh, my question is why? Jesus is praying to his Heavenly Father. You don't pray to God as your Father. Because you are slave to Allah. Versus I pray to my Heavenly Father. Why? Because Father of Jesus becomes my Father. Because through His death and His resurrection, I have privilege to call God my Father. Yet, all you are is slave. That's all you are. And slave has no place in the kingdom. Can, 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 I, yes. can, I, can I? What's your name, sir? Yeah, just, just call me Ralph. Ralph. Yeah. Oh, so we're Ralph very close. Ralph. Yeah, Ralph versus Ralph. 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 Not verses. <laughs> <laughs> we are together. We 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 are for. No, we are for you, not versus you. So my brother Ralph, you have a choice today, and I I say this from the bottom of my heart because we care about your soul. To follow Allah, the God of deception, the best deceiver or to follow the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the truth, the life, who never lies, who will never deceive you, but lead you to eternal life, because he is life. Would you like to take this choice or decision today, to follow the truth, or to continue following deception and the best deceiver? Yes, uh, I mean, I did a diligent study. Uh, I just didn't accept this Islam blindly. I'm not saying raised, that you did that. Yeah. You know, my mother, my family, they are still Christian. Okay. So, okay, so come, come back, back home, sir. Ralph, 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 Ralph. Come back home. Come back home. You're astray, bro. You're, you're, you're dece following the deceiver. Come back home. That's not your home. You're, you're a slave. Home to Jesus, yes, I'm talking. So you you are I mean, don't you are deceived by the best deceiver. No, 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 please, we please. please. We do. I know, True, I know. We, we but that, that's not the truth. Surah 19, Surah Tamarim, 
It gives the whole the birth Rav, of Jesus, Rav. how he talks Rav, I know the, the Quran, cradle, so I know the Quran. We revere Surah. Jesus. Don't no, ever no, no, think no, no, you don't. that you don't. we just believe in Jesus and we revere him and we respect him in a different no, way no, without you don't. You offending don't. Allah's Allah. Ralph, Ralph, let me say. Ralph, Ralph, let me say. I heard that's a lot. Ralph, Ralph, I heard this a million times. Okay. Let's just say. Yeah, I, I, I heard it day and night, okay? Because I was, born, I was born and raised in a Muslim country. Anyway, so now, are you here with us today? Are you here with us today? Are you sure that we are talking now and you are with us? Let's check. Are you there? Are you here now? I'm here. Right, okay. Let's assume that if after 600 years, somebody came, not in America, not uh, even in Canada, but say in the Middle East, and said, no, Ralph, you were not there. You didn't talk to these guys. What would you say to this person? You're wrong. Thank you. You're honest. That's exactly what happened. Jesus came. He said that he is the son of God. He is God incarnate. That he came to save us, and after 600 years, somebody came in Saudi Arabia, I don't know even where now, and said he was not God, he was not crucified. And what did you say about that person again? He was what? If somebody says that we were not here together today, you said he is lying, right? That's what exactly happened. So you're following a prophet. According to you who lied, you're following Allah or a God that's a deceiver, actually the best of them. What do you want to do with these people? Come home to Christ, my friend. Come home. Come home. That's not your home. Come back. The Quran. Come back to Jesus Christ, not to us, Quran not to your family. 1,540 years old, the Holy Quran. And it is just considered even by scientists all over the world that it is the most authentic. Oh, did they book lie and told you that lie? What, what was that? It's the most authentic book on this planet, and it's coming from the scientists. Science. Google it in World Book, and it will tell you no book in the world is more authentic than the Quran. Not a vowel has changed in 1500. I mean, you're and talking to an expert here. Okay. Okay. Let, let me just so, so tell me that. Okay, do you, do you want to make sure that your claim is true? Or what they lied to and you and told you? The Prophet Muhammad.